Hey crafters! So in today's video, I'm going to be tackling a project I mentioned recently, and that is my dresser. So the way it is, you can see these pictures now, how there's the mirror on the one side, the corkboard on the other, and basically it's just a mess. So it definitely needs some updating. So what the plan is, we're going to clear things off of the left side where the corkboard is, and we're gonna put up a fancy background, some kind of collage something, and then turn it into a jewelry board. So first of all, I need to get this thing cleaned off. All right, so now that that area is cleaned off, I'm going to be making a collage as the background for the jewelry display board. All right, so I'm going to be working on the background for the cork board with the jewelry display. So what I've done is I am very sentimental and I've saved like birthday cards and stuff over the years. And I've always wanted to do something like this, but basically I cut out all like the cute stuff and the birthday cards. I have some words and phrases here. Some stuff is just fun pattern things, and others I have actual pictures and stuff. So anyways, basically I'm gonna be making a big collage on here with these card cutouts that I've got. I'm going to be using Mod Podge, and I've got a sheet of cling wrap that's gonna be the back of it, and I'll probably do another sheet of cling wrap over the front of the collage, just so that way it all sticks together really well. So the side that we'll be looking at here will be the face-up side, and then maybe I'll put another sheet of cling wrap on the front of it just to hold everything down really well with the Mod Podge. All right, so I just finished Mod Podging on all my decorations. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm going to Mod Podge a sheet of cling wrap onto the front just to make it hold really well. But I'm really happy with how cute this is turning out. And while we let this dry, I'm gonna go upstairs and figure out how I'm actually going to arrange things on the jewelry board. All right, so here's the basic look so far for the jewelry board. I'm going ahead and figuring out how I want the jewelry to go on there before I put on the collage paper because I don't want to poke holes in the collage paper and then try to rearrange. So that's to give you an idea of how the jewelry is going to be displayed on here. Some of the features that I'll mention is, first of all, these shot glasses. I think these are super fun. Those are going to be a great spot to store studs. I also have a pair of dangly earrings in the one at the right. So they've got kind of a chain so I'm able to hang that over the side. Or I could hook danglies on the edge of the cup. Another fun thing is you can see those crochet flowers. And yes, those are the ones from this past week's Tutorial Tuesday. I told you I'd be incorporating them in a project. So there's a few more of them. And overall, I think it's gonna end up really cute and be fitting with both the room and then we'll be able to incorporate some of those things like the bows and ribbons that have kind of sentimental value, but we'll still be able to give it a totally redone and more modern, classier vibe. All right, here is the finished collage. There's a couple spots where there's still a little bit of white from the Mod Podge that hasn't dried yet, but I'll be able to still put it up and let the Mod Podge finish drying. Some of my favorite features, I really like this Better Late Than Never. That was from a late birthday card. I thought that was funny. Also, I had to incorporate Winnie the Pooh there, which, fun fact, the author of Winnie the Pooh and I share the same birthday. And then there's just lots of fun, cute little things all over here, all made out of birthday cards, so lots of fun. So I just need to trim this and then it will be ready to go up on the board. Kind of scared to cut this, but here we go. All right, now we've got it fit. So I'm going to use some staples, just normal pieces like this, and I'm gonna break them off using needle nose pliers. So I'm just gonna kinda grab it right here, just a couple, and bend. And just like that, I removed one. And so I'm gonna put these in the corner, and I will press these into the cork board to hold the backdrop on. You'll notice I used just a normal push pin to first make a hole, and then I popped in the staple to hold it in place. 
So I'm gonna finish up with that and then it will be time to put up the actual pegs and things for jewelry. All right, now we've got the collage up there on the board. So I'm going to start attaching and hanging up the jewelry. I've gotta find the master picture here on my phone to figure out where everything goes, but here we go. flower on this one. Alright, so there's the necklaces. Now I'm going to put up the shot glasses. Here's a closer look at the shot glasses. I just got these fun wire clothespin, hooking it on here, and then I'm hanging these down at the bottom so if they do fall off, there's not fur to fall. And also there's a ledge at the bottom that they can kind of rest on. So the next thing I'm going to hang up here, I just got some embroidery floss here that I have used a slip knot to attach to two different pins. And so this will hold all these earrings. I'm gonna take the earrings off for a while. I hang it up just so I can make sure I get this really nice and tight. These earrings go with this necklace of right above it. So I'm gonna put these ones here. A fun pair that I crocheted. And there's my first section of earrings hanging up. So I'm gonna put a couple more of these up and then I'll show you the finished look. And there we have it. This is my fun project for this week, my personal project of my own life. So I'm really excited with how this turns out. First of all, I definitely needed something for my necklaces because these were so long and they get so tangled. But now I can just grab whichever one I want and I'm good to go. No big deal. Super easy storage. Also, I have more space for my dangly earrings, which is awesome because I did have this thing that I made years ago when I very first got my ears pierced, but it has long since overflown. Plus I also had a couple spots for bracelets and I really like the way I was able to incorporate these shot glasses. I think it just adds an extra cutesy vibe to the overall look of the project. But overall, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it's both very functional it dealt with the whole eyesore of just the bleh stuff that was on here. And I feel like it also definitely updated and gives us a fresh look while still incorporating the fun, playful, kind of childish way of things like the ribbon or the bows. So I think overall, I'm really happy with how this project turns out. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this project. Is it too busy? Did I, should I have arranged stuff better? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And maybe this will inspire you to try something similar too. You don't necessarily need a cork board already attached to your dresser mirror setup. You can just buy a cork board at the store, make a collage using Mod Podge and cards or tissue paper or whatever you have on hand, and you can turn it into a really cute collage jewelry display board for something like in your dorm room or just to hang on your wall or wherever you need some extra jewelry storage. So I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Happy crafting! Story time or how I got this necklace. I get compliments on it all the time, but the funny thing is I didn't actually buy this necklace somewhere. No, that does not mean I stole it. So I actually got this at an arcade place, that Dave and Buster's place. It's like arcades. They had a jewelry claw and it actually worked. And I was there with some friends. One of us was beside the machine. I was in front of the machine. And that's how I got this necklace. And it's awesome.